So hi guys, uh, this is Parth and today I'm going to show you how you can actually use the Google Cloud Translation API with the Python code. So guys, uh, let's begin. So first of all, head up to your Google Cloud co console and now look up for the Translate API. You might find Cloud Translation API. Uh, go to this section and now you can uh, see the manage button which might be written as enable API if you haven't enabled it yet. So now enable this API and now you're ready to go before that you can actually uh, download the credential files for google cloud platform from the iam and admin section and then go into the service accounts now you can select the account which has the permissions for the cloud translation api which uh, by default can be uh, the user which uh, is the owner which is this for me now you can go to the key section and now you can add key and then create a new key which will uh, prompt you to download the gcp key file now you need to save that in the directory you want to work in or any other path so now we can start working on the actual code for google translate api so the first part uh we need to actually install the requirements which in this case is actually pip install google cloud translate so this is the library which is required to run the translate api and uh, create the clients for google cloud services all right you can install this api and now we can start working on the code so the first part is obviously to import uh, the translate module from google dot cloud we can import translate v2 as translate so that is how that is the standard format in which you import uh, the translate module all right so now we can actually create the client which can be used to run functions of this uh, of this service so now we can create the client by uh, creating the translate dot client and to pass the service key you can actually use the from service account json uh, function and now pass the path of the gcp key we have stored in i've stored the gcp key in the same directory that's why i've written uh, just the name of the gcp key all right so now you can actually start uh inputting the text we want to translate supposedly i take some text like uh hello welcome to the google cloud so that's the text i want to uh, translate to another language all right so how we are going to translate is by using the translate function of the client of the translate client basically which we have created the created above all right so for running this function we can run the client or translate then we can pass the uh, text as the first parameter and now the target language is the language to which we are converting the current text so that is in my case uh, french so this uh, result should be uh, should convert the current text to the uh, the text in the french language so we can now print results result is a dictionary in which translated text is the key for the value of the translated text which we, which has been converted from the client so we can run this code now which is python translate.py and they should give us the french conversion for that for our sample text which is bonjour uh this is written in french so yeah, that's how you actually use Google Translate API. Also, you can uh, Im use some other functions of Google Translate API, like uh, detecting the language, which we can use, uh, which we can uh, actually access by using the detect language function of the client, which is detect language. And now we can uh, actually enter the text we want to detect the language of. In this case, it should be printing English as the uh, result. So the language is basically stored as the language in the language key of the dictionary of result. So if I run this uh, code now, I think I should get EN, yeah, which represents English. If I actually uh, see what uh, language is the translated text, I can again run the code. And now it says FR, which represents the French language. So yeah, uh, basically that's how Google Translate API works. And these were some of the basic functions, Google Translate API for your Python code.
there guys and that's it for the video thank you for watching